Hello everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well at your home. And yes, you guys should continuously solve the problems over to the lead code. And uh, yes, you can see if you are uh, my regular uh, subscriber and if you are watching my videos regularly, uh, you can easily observe that I have been uploading the content after a long time, maybe a month or two months. And the reason is like I've been involved in uh, like preparations of my own campus internships. And yes, I have seen this weekly contest two double line today. And uh, yes, I have read out all the problems. I have been solving it out over here. And the most uh, like the most interesting problem that I found is maximum score of sliced array. Like I I didn't give this contest because uh, I'm not being able to wake up at you know in the morning too early. Okay, but yes, I have uh, looked out through all the problems and they are good ones. So in this video, uh, I will uh, discuss the problems of this weekly contest 299. Okay, so let's start with the very first problem. Check if matrix is a X matrix or not. Okay, so as the name suggests, you can see uh, we need to check if uh, the input matrix is a X matrix or not. So we need to understand what is this X matrix. So let's uh, read out the problem description once. A square matrix is said to be an X matrix if both of the following conditions hold. Now, okay, so you need to focus that uh, we have to look out for the square matrix. So the number of rows and number of columns will be equal. And all the elements in the diagonals of this matrix are non-zero. Okay, so if you look out for the diagonals, you can see this is one of the diagonals. All the elements in present in this diagonal should be uh, non-zero like should hold non-zero value yes there are two diagonals you can see uh, past, uh, like the left aligned diagonal and other one uh, as right aligned diagonals okay i will explain through the examples also if you're not getting it right now no need to worry about so we have been given a 2d integer array grid and obviously it's a square matrix so rows and columns will be equal Representing a square matrix return true if the grid is an X matrix otherwise return false Okay, so let's understand this problem with the help of examples Okay, so first also you need to know that uh, this problem involves totally a uh, you know brute force Approach Okay, also uh, like to understand which type of solution this problem is going to demand you can also look over to the constraints You can see n is at max hundred so in worst case, if you traverse through the entire matrix, uh, you can have a O of uh, n square time solution. It would be around 10 raised to the power 4 iterations. You can also have a O of n cube also. It, it will again be around 10 raised to the power. Uh, you can see 10 raised to the power 6 iterations. Yes, it, it still will pass all the test cases because yes, it is under the time limit. So, in this problem, we have been given a square matrix. Okay, so let me pick out this example. Oh, it would be better if I, I will change the background. Yes. Okay, so let me fill out over here. So we would be having 2, 0, 0, 1, followed by 0, 3, 1, 0. And then 0, 5, 2, 0, 0, 5, 2, 0. And finally, 4, 0, 0, 2. Okay, now uh, this is a square matrix, and we need to uh, verify whether this square matrix is an X matrix or not. So, the very first condition that it must hold is all the diagonal elements, diagonal elements, so should have the value that is grid of ij if i and j is lying on the diagonal grid of ij must be strictly greater than 0. If uh, all the diagonal elements satisfy this one, it is good. We will check out to the second part, like second condition. Okay. So what are the elements uh, that are lying on the diagonal? So you need to extract these cells, you can see. Okay. Now how do you extract these cells? You will start your one pointer let's say i as 0 this will vary for the number of rows and j will be also as 0 so you will iterate uh, like you will iterate for each time you will increment your i by 1 that is i plus plus 
and j by 1 that is j plus plus this is like uh, incrementing the positions of i and j by 1 so in, if you initialize i and j over to this position in the next one it will go over here in the next one it would go over here in the next one it would go over these positions these positions of the cells in the matrix okay so at each of these positions you would verify that grid of ig should be strictly positive okay that is the values present at these cells okay so yes uh, this is not the only one diagonal that we would have in this matrix there is one more diagonal that you need to extract out and the diagonal is this one. Okay. So you have to check if all the elements lying uh, in this diagonal, that is the cells, will hold the value strictly positive. Okay. So what you will do is you initialize is zero. That would iterate for the rows and js n minus one that is present over here. Okay. And each time you will increment your i that is move out to the next row and decrement your j that is you go back to the previous column that is it will start over here then will go over to this one then it will go over to this one then it will go over to this one and you have to verify that grid of ij should be strictly positive okay now if you are done with this one uh, you need to uh, look out for all those cells which are not lying uh, on the diagonals and that values that is the cells values which are not uh, lying on the diagonal should be exactly zero that is you can see this is not lying on any of the diagonals this is also not lying in the any of the diagonals similarly this one this one this one this one this one that is I'm marking it with the white color should be zero if all goes well that is all the conditions are satisfied you will return true otherwise you will return false so the second part of the condition is non diagonal elements element should be exactly equal to zero okay so let's move on to the implementation part and check it out how we are going to do that efficiently i hope the screen is visible uh, let me uh, move on to the submission section where i can easily show how uh, like uh, submitted yeah okay so you can see I have taken n as grid size and i as 0 and j as also 0 okay so yeah I have also taken a mark uh, 2d vector that will mark the you know or if if we are if we are visiting all the diagonal elements diagonal cells cells lying on the diagonals we will mark it as one and we will finally check the non diagonal elements whether it is zero or not so this will basically mark out all the diagonal elements so that when we are checking the non diagonal elements we can easily uh, look out for that so i will i treat from i less than n and j less than n grid of i j Note that we are starting for this condition i0 and j0 like starting from here and we are looking for the first diagonal which is left aligned. So I will iterate i and j till the rate of ij is positive and uh, when we are uh, done with this condition we will check if i is strictly less than n which means that there exists some uh, cell lying on this diagonal which is which has the value exactly 0 uh, that's why i doesn't reach the to the end position n if that happens then we will return false because there exists a cell lying on this left diagonal left aligned diagonal which has the value of grid of ij exactly equal to zero right okay so suppose this condition passes like all the cells lying on the left diagonal is strictly positive then we will check on the right aligned diagonal we will start from i equal to zero and j assigned as n minus 1 the last column and each time we will increment i to the next row and decrement j to the previous column and we will check the elements lying on the right aligned diagonal whether all the elements are strictly positive or not if uh, all the elements are strictly positive we will always end up with the value i as exactly equal to n if this doesn't happen it means that there exists a cell uh, such that uh, it lies in the right diagonal and the value present at that cell grid of ij is exactly equal to 0. In that case, i would be strictly less than n and we would return false. Uh, that signifies 
that uh, we uh, we cannot have an x matrix now suppose all the elements lying on the left diagonal as well as the right diagonal is exactly like all the values are strictly positive then we will check out for the non diagonal elements note that uh, we had already marked out the diagonal elements okay so we will check out for all those i j such that mark of i j exactly equal to 0 which means that it is a non diagonal element and if that value grid of i j is not equal to 0 it means that the value present in the strictly positive in the non diagonal element position then we will return false and uh, since we cannot have an x matrix and if all goes well we will return true yes we can have this x matrix okay so time complexity of this solution is o of n into m and yes because we are visiting each cell at most two times and there are n into m cells where n and m are actually equal this because this is a square matrix and its space complexity is also o of n into m because we are maintaining this mark matrix yes you can do without uh, yeah you can do without having this space but yes if you are doing in the contest you have to do it as fast as possible so yeah you can uh, submit it as it is or you can optimize the space complexity of the solution okay it all depends upon you so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and uh, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, thank you for watching this video